While the entire world is busy with the Ukraine war, the former Prime Minister and Foreign Minister of Qatar, Hamad bin Jassim, dropped a few bombshells on a national Qatari TV. A few years ago, I think two or three years ago, Hamad bin Jassim again appeared on a Qatari TV and he described Syria as a prey. And he said that back then, he mentioned specifically Saudi Arabia and Qatar, he said while we were fighting over the prey, the prey has escaped while we are still fighting for it. Maybe he also meant President Bashar al-Assad, but that's how he described it. Now, he's again uh, dropping a few bombshells, and he said clearly that there were two operational rooms that anyone who followed the Syrian war know that there were two military operational rooms, one in Jordan and one in Turkey. The one in Jordan called Mok, and the one in Turkey called Mom. And these operational rooms were consisted of delegations, security and military delegations from the United States, from Saudi Arabia, from Qatar, from Jordan, and in also Israel, but they don't mention it, also other regional and international powers. And the duty of these operational rooms were to coordinate the military support, the supply of weaponry, the training, the vetting of the so-called rebels, right? And we all know how it ended up, creation of Al-Nusra Front, ISIS and other radical jihadi groups in Syria. Maybe that was the intention to begin with. In this interview, he says that Qatar was in charge of uh, the Syrian file in the first few months of the war. It was in 2013 when the, the father of the current emir, father of Tamim, he was in charge and he resigned also I think that he was under American pressure and he resigned to his son Tamim and when he resigned the file the Syrian file has been moved from Qatar into the hands of Saudi Arabia and during this period also who came as the head of the Saudi intelligence was Emir Bandar bin Sultan or he's called or better known as Bandar Bush why is that because he was the ambassador of Saudi Arabia in the United States for a very long time, and especially uh, under the Bush administration, and he was a close friend with Bush. There were family relationship between him and Bush. And Bandar bin Sultan, according to Hamad, he called foreign ministers and defense ministers and the directors of intelligence uh, apparatuses of regional countries, such as Qatar, such as Jordan, such as Turkey, uh, the United States. He doesn't mention Israel, but I think uh, they were also there. And Bandar bin Sultan, he says that he asked for a budget that amounts to two trillion dollars. Guys, this is this is <laughs> two trillion. We're not talking billions. We're not even talking twenty billions. It's two trillion dollars to remove or to overthrow the authority, the political authority in Syria and to remove Bashar al-Assad from power. But secondly, Hamad bin Jassim also said in the interview that Bandar bin Sultan secured a huge budget. Later, Hamad bin Jassim says that Bandar bin Sultan also planned to assassinate President Bashar al-Assad and their plan was to strike Damascus with missiles. It seems from Ghouta, Joba, uh, you remember Harasta, all these areas were occupied by the so-called rebels. And he says that they, the plan was to strike Damascus heavily with missiles and to create chaos inside the uh, capital city of Damascus and then attack on the palace of the people or the people's palace where Assad works, his office is, and to uh, capture him or assassinate. So the scenario was similar to what they, they did in Libya with Gaddafi. Later he says the plan has failed. 